really, I mean, you watch practice this morning. Welcome, everyone, to the North Carolina Education Lottery 200 at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Ready to go green. I'll give updates on stage endings. Probably not cautious because I have stuff to do tonight. Well, I'm already all ready for a great Charlotte weekend. Race is green. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go racing, boys, in the truck series. Todd Gillen started on pole. Perfectly so far up front. Boy, that was the tricky spot that they just uh, are going through now. And he's side by side with Sheldon Creed. Pole inside move by, I think, that's Hosevar. Yeah. And Sheldon Creed is going to take the lead. My pick to win is John Hernimacek. And I'll see you guys back with more action. Probably stage one ending. We've got about two and a half laps to go in stage one at Charlotte. The truck series. Sheldon Creed with a one and a half second lead. We've had some great battles within the pack. No cautions yet. Coming up with two to go right here. Haley Deegan on track to get her first ever stage point. He's two seconds ahead of 11th. Anyway, but, obviously, Sheldon Creed's got the focus on him. Keller Ankum looking for a good day, considering he's 13th in the points. Or playoff points, at least. Because end figure's ineligible. Anyway, final lap of stage one. But every lap so far... Coming with turns one and two. He's trying to get around Timmy Hill in that patriotic scheme. Of course, it's Memorial Day weekend. Hope you all who live in America having a great Memorial Day weekend. How about four-day weekend for the uh, children out there and teens out there? Anyway, Creed makes his way around Timmy Hill and wins stage one. Todd Gillen second. Austin Hill third. John Hernimacek fourth. Zane Smith fifth. Tyler Ankrum sixth. Derek Krause seventh. Matt Crafton eighth. Ben, oh, okay, Nima check past Hill. Ben Rhodes ninth, and Haley Deegan getting her first ever stage point. Nice. All right, that was it for stage one, and I'll see you for stage two. All right, yeah, we've got a caution here. Tanner Gray with Brett Holmes as well in his 32 truck. Running high. Ah, oh, he slams into the wall there. And Gray spinning out. Gray has not been having a great season. He's behind his rookie teammate in points. Yeah, that just, that wasn't great. Yeah, that sucks. See, anyway, see you back for the end of Stage 2. We're coming to the green for what I presume will be the, the run to the end of Stage 2. This will be good to get, so let's go. Here we go, we're green. Ooh. Creed, a little loose, not a great restart. He gets shuffled back immediately. Zane Smith, right behind John Hunter Nemechek. Mm. Yeah. Oh, contact between Gilliland and Creed. They're spinning. Gilliland turns Creed. Oh, man. Oh, and he gets Chase Purdy as well, his teammate, who frankly is doing worse than Jack Wood, his rookie. No, not even rookie, his teammate. What is this? This is his second star. Wood's running in the top 20. Purdy has been a pile of shit. Well, that happened. I guess I'll see you back for the actual end of stage two, unless it ends under caution. We are coming to green now for a one-lap shootout to decide the winner of Stage 2. Zane Smith leading because Nemechek pitted on the final, on that last caution. Here we go. Dean Smith and Austin Hill side by side. Mm. 
Here we go, side by side through turns three and four. It looks like Zane Smith's gonna have the advantage. Ooh, also himself goes around. But Smith is going to win stage one, two, Austin Hill second, Time of Justice third, Derek Krause fourth, Ryan Truex fifth, Matt Crafton sixth, Carson Osafar seventh, Stuart Friesen eighth, Grand Finger ninth, John Hunter Nemechek tenth. That was the end of stage two, and I'll see you back for the end of stage three and the race. A brutal wreck here. Johnny Sauter and Drew Dollar collided. Dang, that looks bad. Yeah, that's. He's the most recent winner at Charlotte that isn't in the field. That is in the field. Who's that? Well, we've had a brutal wreck here. I can't see the number. It's the problem. Trey Hutchins in the 14. Holy crap. Sauter has been is on the edge of the top 10 in points, and he's probably going to get knocked out now. But damn, the whole right side of his truck just knocked off. So Drew Dollar that. has damage. He spun out. The, uh, but holy crap. That is that he brutal. Is okay, we are back here with the crash that's going to the replay. For the, holy crap, that was a terrible, Sonner terrible crash. Tucked right up under Dollar, Drew, uh, Drew Dollar, Vince, and couldn't see what was ahead, I'm sure. <laughs> All right, so watch, Hutchins so slammed Hutchins the wall. Already, but where do Drew Dollar, are you sliding down? And, oh, Dollar, Dollar, that is fierce. Like you you can see John the Hunter entire right him, side of Sauter's truck. No, well, at least the, the, uh, the driver's, the cockpit just not have been destroyed. Out yet. The drivers didn't know that Hutchins was just going to be sitting in the road. Oh. You could see Sauter would wouldn't be able to see the engine through. exposed the 51 truck, a tire the flying around look, the that is one scary crash john hunter has coming in there it reminds me of um i guess uh, in a oh it was another tire the veteran tap boyd it radioed that he just did not see the 14 and where the 14 like was in 2002 on and, and, Sauter almost killed you know, Mike Harmon spot, when Harmon had a hor earlier that horrendous like wreck is a vulnerable position and for Sauter the barely avoided Harmon yeah, outside of turn f on the exit of four as they come but damn the trial that is one horrendous, horrendous crash so that probably made a little, a little several of those see today, at night so. against the, man the asphalt but Maybe uh, not as horrendous but brutal crashes man, coming 10 to go at the line and they're according to the end Probably going to be about five minutes. Nima Check still maintains his lead. Three wide pass here. Hosevar on the bottom, but Nima Check goes to block. Austin Hill, I think, back to the bottom, I think. Yes. One with Friesen. Ooh. Nima Check, my pick. Still leading. Haley Deegan in front of Brent Enfinger and Derek Kraus. What a mess. Well, not in front of Kraus anymore. Right anyway. Deegan a lap down because of the caution. And Truex not hitting. All right. Host of our might be maybe closing in a bit. Again, like uh, Vince Wall said, looking for his first win. Newt Don in this race. Carson Hosevar, the 18 year old from Michigan, career best third a few weeks back at Darlington. He is definitely going to be the rookie of the year. And if he doesn't, it's going to be a travesty. Unfortunately, yeah, Nemechek is just pulling away. He's won a two mile and a half, including uh, Kansas. No, he didn't. He's sorry. He is. He won at one, which is Las Vegas. But he's coming second, I think, to, Bolt, to Kyle Busch's Bolt. And those are both Kansas and Atlanta, and Atlanta, which are both quad ovals, just like Charlotte. 
Tanner Gray slowing down. All right, there's uh, Krause and Hill battling it, battling it out for ninth, eighth. From the end finger. Oh, really loose and just pummels the wall. You know, that would be nice for my number one, but... Five to go. There's the gap between first and second place. Yep. That lead stretching out even more to about 0.8 seconds. Three to go. Two to go at the line. Yes, he's my pick for the championship since the start of the season. He's won twice at Vegas and Richmond. White flag out, presented by Credit One Bank. Here comes Nemechek. Does Hosevar have anything left? Only if Nemechek has a problem, frankly. Ooh, a lap truck might help. It might be close. Here we go through turn three and four. No, he's going to hold him off. John Hunter Nemechek wins the North Carolina Education Lottery 200 for his ninth career win in the Truck Series. Carson Hosevar second, best career finish. Ben Rhodes third, Stuart Reason fourth, Todd Gellin fifth, Chad Hersman sixth, Ty Majewski seventh, Derek Krause eighth, Austin Hill ninth, and Zane Smith tenth to round the top ten. It was a good race overall. Um, I don't know if it was necessarily great. Uh, good to great. There were a lot of horrendous crashes, especially with Johnny Sauter losing the right side of his truck. Overall, it was great. But yeah, Nima checks third win of the season. That team has won, I think, five, six races. Kyle Busch Motorsports, two with Kyle Busch, three with Nima Check, and one with Martin Truex Jr. That, I mean, you have to think they're looking pretty unstoppable for the championship at this point. I expect Austin Wayne Self, to, I think, will take over third spot. Uh, no, the, the final spot in the playoff bubble due to Sauter's crash. But, yeah, that was that. So I got slightly interrupted at the end of the race, but obviously Nemechek wins 50K for the last leg of the Triple Truck Challenge. That was the uh, North Carolina Education Lottery 200. Uh, I'll listen to this interview. Horst is a good dude. His third top five, by the way, in Nice Motorsports. Clinton. 
first loser, but you also run second, and it's, uh, it's a good points day, and it's a good thing that uh, out in East and this organization, East Motorsports needed, Phil, Cody, everybody, um, we're chipping away at it. Anyway, like I said, that was the North Carolina Education Lottery 200. I will hopefully see you tomorrow if I have time for the All School Uniforms 300 for the Xfinity Series. Master Junior XD. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good one.